Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send discount offers to customers on WhatsApp. Suppose I have a Google Sheets in which I have the data of all my customers along with their contact details. And now I want to send Christmas offers to each of these customers on WhatsApp and that too automatically. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here we have Google Sheets in our trigger and in action here I am going to take Wati for sending WhatsApp template messages to my customers. If you want you can also take any other application over here such as Interact or AI Sensei. And now we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically send discount or festive offers to our customers on WhatsApp without any manual efforts. Let's suppose in a Google Sheet, I have the data of my customers along with their contact details. And now I want to send Christmas discount offers to all these customers automatically on WhatsApp. And for doing this, we are going to create an amazing automation by setting up a simple integration between Google Sheets and WhatsApp. And that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software, Pabli Connect and that too without any coding or programming skills. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once you will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save our workflows. As I have two folders here, in this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, we can save the workflows on the dashboard accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send automated WhatsApp message to customers for discount offers. Now, after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select test integrations folder and then we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here in this workflow we are going to take Google Sheets in which we have the data of our customers in our trigger and Vati through which we want to send WhatsApp message to our customers in our action. And we want that as soon as we will add a new data in this particular spreadsheet, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent through Vati to that same customer. Now here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the data is added in the Google Sheet and the response is captured here in Public Connect, then only the message is sent on WhatsApp. Otherwise not, okay? Now after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Google Sheets. So let's select Google Sheets over here. And now we will select our trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So we will select new or updated spreadsheet row as our trigger event over here. Okay. Now, first of all, in order to send the WhatsApp message, we will have to connect our Google Sheets in which we have the data of our customer with Pabli Connect. And for doing that, here a webbook URL along with some instructions are provided to us. So we need to follow these instructions step by step to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. And the webbook URL which is provided to us is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect. So once we will connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, whenever we are going to add a new data in this particular spreadsheet, the response will be automatically captured in Pabli Connect. Now, first of all, let us copy the webbook URL given over here and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So I'm going to take you towards my spreadsheet and the name of the spreadsheet is customers data. So we are going to connect it with the help of the webbook URL. Okay. For doing that, let's go towards the extensions option and here we can find the option of add-ons. When we will click on get add-ons, 
it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now, here we are going to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Let's do that. And Pabli Connect Webbook is the add-on which we need to install in our Google Sheets. As you can find, I have already installed the add-on, so I'm going to cross it. And once you will install the add-on, you have to refresh the page so that you can find it here in the extensions option. Okay. Now here we can find Pabli Connect Webbooks. We will go towards initial setup. Basically, in order to connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, we need to do an initial setup in which we have to enter two details, webbook URL and trigger column. Now, first of all, we will paste the webbook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect here in the field. And the next is the trigger column. Now, what is trigger column? The concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered up till this particular column in the spreadsheet, the response will be sent towards Pabli Connect. Here in the background, you can find that in my spreadsheet, I have two columns, column A and column B. And I want to keep column B as my trigger column. Why? Because I want that whenever I will add the data in the spreadsheet up till column B, the response should be automatically sent towards Pabli Connect. So here column B will be my trigger column. Okay. So I will type capital B over here. Okay. Now we are going to click on send test to send the test data towards Pabli Connect. And here the test data is sent successfully. Let's click on submit and we will cross this. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can find that as soon as we have done the initial setup, here is the response we have received in Pabli Connect along with all the details of a user. Okay, so for now in the response we have received the details of only one user that is this dummy user and the contact number of the user. Okay, the customer's data. See, this is the name and the contact number. Now, by using this response, we are going to set up this automation and we are going to, first of all, send the WhatsApp message to this particular user. Okay, for doing that, we will move towards our action step. In order to send WhatsApp messages, because I'm going to use Wati, Wati has the official API access of WhatsApp. And with the help of Wati, we can create multiple templates for sending WhatsApp messages. So because I'm using Wati here, therefore I'm going to connect Wati with Pabli Connect for sending the WhatsApp messages. In case if you are using any other application such as Interact or AI Sensei, you can definitely connect the same application over here. Okay, now let's select our action application as Wati. And now we will select the action event. Now in our action event, we will simply select send template message and we will click on connect. As we have done that, it is asking us two options, add new connection or select existing connection. For creating a new connection with Vati account, here I'm going to select add new connection. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now, as we have clicked on add new connection, here we have to enter two details, API endpoint and access token. Now from where we are going to find both the details, for that, the instructions are provided to us here. We just have to go towards our Wati dashboard and then we have to click on API docs. Under API docs, we will find both the details. So I am going to take you towards my Wati account and here we will click on API docs. And yes, we can find that both the details are provided to us, access token as well as the API endpoint. First of all, let us copy the API endpoint and we are going to paste it here in this field. The next is access token. So let's go back and copy the access token also and we will once again paste it here in the field. Done in the same manner, you have to find both the details and now we are going to click on save. With this, our Vati account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So after building the connection, we will move further and here we need to enter the details in these fields in order to send the message. Okay, first of all, it is asking us the WhatsApp number on which number you want to send the message. Here, our motive is to send the message to our customers for discount offers. And we have already received the data and the contact number of the customer in our earlier response. That is in Google Sheets response. So we will simply use the same details over here. How we are going to do that with the help of mapping. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here, our previous step is given. When we will select that, here are all the details. So we need to map the contact number over here. Contact is given. Let's click on it and it will be mapped automatically. Why we have mapped this number instead of entering it manually to make it dynamic. So because we have mapped the number, now whenever a new data will be entered in our Google Sheets and the response of that data will be captured here in Pabli Connect, automatically in this field, the number is going to be replaced with a new number of a new customer. But in case if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use mapping. Okay, now after mapping the number, we will move further. The next thing it is asking us is the template name. Now, in order to understand that, I'm going to once again take you towards my Wati account and we will go towards template section. 
Here we can find that I have multiple templates which I have created for different purposes. To send the discount offers to my customers, I have created a new template named as new discount. I'm going to open it and show you. So this is the preview of the message. The name of the template is new discount. The category which I have selected is marketing and I have used English language for sending the messages. Okay. In the broadcast title, I have used Merry Christmas for sending the wishes to my customers and whatever you're going to select in your broadcast title, it is going to be shown in the bold in the header of the message. Instead of this if you want to attach a particular image in the header of the message you can also select broadcast title type as image okay the next is the body of the message that means the content which we are going to send so here my objective is to send the christmas discount offers to my customers therefore i have typed the message as ho 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 it's time for our festive christmas sale featuring major discounts dear name we have some special offers for you enjoy 60 percent off on all your purchases this month and get extra 10 percent off on your first two orders apply coupon code christmas 10 thanks team dream fashion let's suppose i have a fashion store and i also have the details of my customers and now i want to send christmas discount offers to each each of the customers on WhatsApp without even taking much efforts. So therefore, I am creating this automation and I have already created a template message by using Bharti. And now I'm going to send the same template message to each of the customer and that too in the customized format by using variable in the template. Okay, so as you can find, I have used variable in the place of name in the template. And now with each and every response, this name is going to be replaced with a new name of a new customer. In this way, we are going to send the same template message to multiple customers at the same time. Okay, and that too in the customized format. I have kept the message very basic over here. You can definitely create your message according to your choice in more customized and creative format. Okay, now after entering the message over here, you also have to provide the sample content. Sample content is the sample value that we are going to use in place of the variable. So as you can find, I have only used one variable and that for name. So I have provided a dummy name over here as my sample content. Okay. Okay. Now, after completing the entire template, you also have to send it for approval. And once it will get approved, you can definitely use it in order to send template messages on WhatsApp to multiple people. As my template is approved over here, I'm going to use it in order to send messages. And now we are going to go back towards Family Connect and we can find that the template name is selected correct over here as new discount. Okay. So we will move further. The next it is asking us is the broadcast name. In this place, in this field, we have to provide the broadcast title, which we have used in our template. So I have used broadcast title as Merry Christmas. Same I'm going to enter over here. We have to enter the exact broadcast title. So this is the broadcast title which I have used, okay? The next and the very important field over here is the custom parameters. In this field, we need to provide the name and the values of the variable which we have used in the templates, okay? And that too in the given format. So a single error in this particular field can make the workflow stuck. So without taking any risk, we are simply going to copy this format and I'm going to paste it here in this field, okay? And now we are going to make the necessary changes in this format only. So first of all, in the place of name, we need to provide the name of our variable which we have used. I have only used one variable in my template and that too for name. So the name of my variable will be name only. So here in the place of color, I'm going to enter name. And now in the place of value, we need to provide the value which we want to use in place of variable. So here my objective is to use the name of the customer in place of name. Okay, so I'm simply going to map the name of the customer. Done. And now because we have mapped the name over here of the customer, it has become dynamic and it's going to change with each and every response. But whatever data we have entered manually is going to be same each time. So in the same manner, you have to enter the value and the name of your variable. In case if you are using more than one variables in your template, then you will use a comma. And then once again, after using a space, you have to copy and paste the format in the field and make the necessary changes in the same manner. Okay, done. After entering all the details, let's click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. Along with the response, we have also received the contact ID. And this means the message is sent on the number which we have mapped over here. So let's go and check on WhatsApp. And yes, here we can find that we have already received the message. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. It's time for our festive Christmas sale featuring major discounts. Dear dummy user, we have some special offers for you. Enjoy 60% off on all your purchase this month and get extra 10% off on your first two orders. Apply coupon code CHRISTMAS10. Thanks, Team Dream Fashion Store. This means that our workflow is perfectly successful 
successful up till now. What we are going to do, we have to do one more thing. We will go back towards Google Sheets after this. And once again, we will go towards extensions, Tably Connect Web Books, and we will click on send on events. Now, as we have clicked on this, as soon as we are going to add one new row in this particular spreadsheet along with the data, automatically the data will be keep on sending towards Tably Connect and the message will be keep on sending to all the customers. Once you will complete entering all the details in the spreadsheet and you are satisfied that you do not want to add further details in the spreadsheet, then what you are supposed to do, you have to click on extensions once again, Pabli Connect Web Books, and then you have to click on send all data. Now automatically, all the customers will receive the WhatsApp message in the customized format at the same time. So in this way, you can send WhatsApp messages to each and every customer you have in the spreadsheet without any manual efforts at the same time. Okay, so we will go back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken two simple steps over here, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken Vati. And we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now automatically WhatsApp messages will be sent to each and every customer by using the details we have in Google Sheets. And here in the same manner, you can very easily create this automation by following the simple steps. And this will help you to automatically send discount and festive offers to all your customers this Christmas season without any manual efforts. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.